Hey guys, Lee and Jen here at Theme Park Ohana, and we are on a monorail. So those, yes, going to the Magic Kingdom. Well, yes. actually, that's the only place we go on a monorail right now. Correct. Or a resort. Correct. Correct. Now, Jen, what? please remain seated when it stops at the Polynesian. Because you're gonna, she's going to want to get off. I'm telling you right now. She already said, I want to go to the Polynesian. I know. We heard a Polly song on the way in, and I was like, we heard a Hawaiian roller coaster ride. I was like, now I want to go to the Polly. Yeah, but we're doing something special for uh, one of our viewers today. Uh, special request. It's going to be a whole separate thing in its own. But we are going to go do some shopping at the Magic Kingdom because that's what Jen does. That's what I do. And I guess I'm just the videographer. Yes. Yeah. And I'm here. The camera. And I bring great comedic yeah. value. Lee. Yes. Don't wander off. Yeah. And Good luck with that. I'm going to be wandering. you got to get a leash. Well, you really got to get a leash from I'm me. getting him a leash. <laughs> You can even see the little the cut through there. Temporary resort. There's nobody in the other side of the cab, but now that we're stopping at the poly, there's a handful of people waiting to get on. Only a couple of them. I think this we may have company. Empty. We may have company. Stay tuned. Jen, you know what I just realized? When the driver gives a safety announcement, he just says, please remain seated at all times. Because he knows the cars are empty and there's only one party per bench. Oh, yeah. But what if it's a really big party? There might still be people standing. Yeah. Monorail driver knows all. I mean, he was standing here watching people get on, so. Yeah. Well, well, he well, he might actually know. Yeah, he may actually know. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Jen, it's crazy. There is not one single guest getting on from the Grand Floridian. But people that just got on already got on. There's only like a dozen people total on this one. Already. Yeah, it's crazy. I guess I mean it, the park has been open for an hour already, so maybe everybody up got up and early. But not even a straggler. Oh lordy. I've missed that. I don't know how well you can see it, but the bridge has been completed here between the Grand Floridian and the Magic Kingdom. Now, I see, it looks like the gates are closed. So I wonder if it's a really open, open, or it's just completed. But look how oh. fancy and new and shiny the walkway is. The bridge that's completed, we missed. Oh, yeah, it might just be open for boat traffic, but it looks like right now, yeah, it looks like it's just not open for a cat, um, cast. Guess. Wow, they completely redid this whole walkway. Yeah, all brand new walkway. So they, it's probably not open for guests to use yet. But it looks like it's pretty much done. And away we go. The Magic Kingdom. Happiest place on earth. So Jen will be looking for merch. You know what Lee's going to be looking for? Ducks. Specifically, Disney ducks. I'm getting yelled at. Look, let's go move it along. I, I got, I wandered already. What? What? I was wandering. You look upset. You are so slow. I had to. Bring in GPS on your phone. No, no. Jen, it's finally happened. It's only taken like four vlogs. But look. They have them. Um, they are darker than I thought they were. Anyway. Yeah. They're really pretty though. It's like a pretty color green. They do exist. They weren't just myth. They do exist. They weren't just legend. It feels satisfying to find them finally. It does. But now it's kind of sad because the hunt's over. Yeah, the hunt is over. I can't wait till the next new hot item. I know. Well, Searching for it's always fun. 
So Jen, I haven't run into the, the problem of having to wait to get into these gift shops. I don't know if later in the day it gets made, but they do count people as they come in. Yes. And they can't do a head count as you come out. So at any given time, they know how many people are in this store. It only happens around like rain or park open, park close. Probably more park close. Yeah. Oh, see, I heard, just heard people talking about the green ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like here in the Emporium, they got the dungaree style plushes as well. And they have all four, Ariel, Stitch, Minnie, and Mickey. We totally have to get this for the car. I'm not putting that on my car. Come on. No. He's eating a frog. I don't care. He's so cute. Not putting that on my we car. Take five dollars. No. Well, maybe I'll just sneak in one. <laughs> Hit that nail on the head last time I was here. The center has done the flip from summer to Halloween. I'm disappointed. I am severely disappointed. I am severely disappointed. Why? Where's Mickey? Where's Minnie? Where's Goofy? Where's Donald? Dressed up in Halloween attire. I don't know. I haven't wandered all around yet. They're not there. I'm sure they're in the windows. That's one change I'm not, I'm not happy about. <gasps> they have the new limited release Halloween Magic Band. I really, really like that this is not dated to 2020. So once you buy this, you could use it every single Halloween. I like that a lot. And this is interesting. This is from the Villains After Hours Party. It is a limited released pin. It is $17.99. And I guess because they're no longer doing the party, um, they just want to get rid of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so next year is the 50th anniversary. And they need to make a candy castle for Halloween. Like, I'm just saying they have to do it next year. But how cute is this countdown? I gotta find out how much it is because I don't actually know. So the Candy Castle countdown is $49.99. Then they also have a pumpkin spice scented candle for $19.99. I can't... Oh, it actually does... Sm it smells like... Literally smells like the, the stuff we just ate. The pancakes we just ate. Now it's interesting, this used to be the kids area, but again, because they redid how the checkout counters is, there's less stuff in the kids area, so they moved that out there. And I spy with my little eye, <gasps> the Hocus Pocus. I love that. Spin it, and Salem's on it, and the handle's his tail. <gasps> $22.99. That is insanely expensive. I love that this year's Hocus Pocus spirit jersey has Salem on it. <laughs> And then it says, it's time for a little Hocus Pocus. This is amazing. And it looks like they have right now extra small, a three mediums, one extra large, and then all double X. No smalls, no larges. This is gorgeous. I love it. And it is the new pricing, uh, the $69.99. And it looks like here in Magic Kingdom, the dressing rooms are closed. So, so far the only place you've been able to try on clothes has been the Yacht Club. I don't remember seeing the spirit jersey before. It's like a pastel tie-dye. And the Walt Disney World is in like a lilac. This is pretty for $69.99. And this one matches the new lilac ears. Perfect. Oh, I haven't seen this shirt before. Oh, I like this. And this is just a unisex tee. So this would work for me. It's $24.99. If this was Dr. Facilier, we would be leaving with this. Because Kay would absolutely 100% live in this. But it is like a really long... Because this is only a medium. But look how long it goes. Hoodie. So this is perfect for over leggings. I love this. And I love the color scheme. Oh, everything about it. So it is plain on the back. It is just a very lightweight pullover hoodie, but it's $59.99. This is another neat one. It's like a very understated. It's scar and it says there's one in every family. I love this. Again, $24.99. <gasps> These are so darned adorable. So this is another one of the newer sets. It's the $1 each or eight for only $5, and it's them as babies. So there's two Mickey, two Minnie, 
a Pluto, Donald, Daisy, and Goofy. These are so cute. And they all say Magic Kingdom, which is really neat too. <laughs> I like this one too. And these ones, oh, I like the Goofy Movie one. There's a bunch of new t-shirts. And these are all the $24.99 ones. Um, any of the ones that are on the wall like this. And these are also on, they're part of the sale that's $22 each when you buy two. This is a cool Mickey one too, I love that. This one's been out, but I just, I love that retro. I'm just like digging the throwback stuff they're having. And then Lee needs this one, working on my dad bod, faux show. And then I like the Figrin Daan and the modal nodes from the Cantina. And then going through life like, hey, hey. I feel like we're all kind of doing that right now. Yes. Jen. What? I found our newest hunt item. Pumpkin popcorn bucket. Yeah, that's not the one. They have one of those every year. K wants the Oogie Boogie one. one. K wants the Oogie Boogie one. Is this the new one? Yeah, but it hasn't come out yet. It doesn't come out till the 15th. How do you know? Because that's what it said in the post yesterday from the Disney Parks blog. You know, we got to keep our eyes open. We will. And again, like we've been seeing everywhere, all the 2020 merch in one location. So you can shop that buy one, get one deal. A little easier when it's all together. This is one of Jen's favorite things. Moving it and shaking it. about adventure land let's go to adventure land it's over there it's over there jen i'm gonna protest okay, when are they bringing the spring rolls back oh not for a while they're too popular that's not fair yeah you're right it'll draw a huge crowd yeah. so i was looking through all the halloween stuff that was released and i was complaining about how they did did away with the redhead float they are coming up with a red float for halloween Fingers crossed for me, guys. I need that strawberry Dole Whip float. Jenga, all excited, I'm thinking. So excited, thinking that this was, was it. But it's called the I Lava You float. That's cute. Pun intended. Orange Dole Whip with Fanta strawberry, red passion fruit syrup topped with popping candy. And pop rocks. That sounds not like a lot of fun. It sounds like really sweet. Like yeah. Super sweet. And it's $6.99. Jen and her hieroglyphs. She has to stop and take a picture. Huh? Pet petroglyphs? Yeah. Hippogriffs? I know, it's not hippogriffs. I always say it wrong though. One of these days I'll learn. And Lee. Random skull. It's not a random skull. Oh, is it because there's headhunters back here? No. What? It's what? part of the pirate game. Oh. Yeah, this is one of the I spots. thought there was like headhunters back here. No, this is one of the spots where you play the game. Huh, okay. We are on one of Jen's favorite attractions in all of Walt Disney World. Possibly her favorite. What's your favorite? And then this? This is her number two. I crocodile's luck. I am a water leaf. Mark. Mark. What I mean? I am always ready, as you say, to put on the show. Hey there, pretty lady. Howdy, partner. Didn't see someone so fancy like you here before. <laughs> Jen, look at these egrets. I know, like one lady's there by herself with, surrounded by egrets. If you had a fear of birds, that would be terrifying. I think the heat's getting the best of Jen. Yeah, me and you vlog very differently. I would have taken six breaks already, and you're just like, let's go, let's go. I need some air. And she's getting a lot of it coming I'm out of Sir Mickey's right now. This is the place. Fine, I'll go walk around and film some other stuff. I'll be here. Bye. Jen's excited. All she wanted to do today, this is the only thing she had on her agenda. Walk through the castle. It's a walk through Cinderella's castle. Oh, so pretty. <sighs> The murals are amazing in here. 
And Jen thinks she may have reported this incorrectly. Cinderella's Royal Table is currently not open for business. Jen's over here taking pictures of this beauty. Yes, dear. What? So make sure you look at the columns too, not just these beautiful murals. Because the columns are all hand carved as well, and they are amazing. Yeah, they are. Beautiful breeze. She's queen of the world. I love coming out of the castle, seeing right down Main Street, USA. Yeah, never gets old, does it? No, it doesn't. People ask us that all the time. We truly do not get tired of it ever. Yeah, look at this view. Ah, epicness. Here, Jen, getting a shot of the front of the castle, and it is glorious. Look at the paint just pop off right there where the fairy godmother comes out. Jen, sounds just like our house. No idea. Cicadas. Oh. <laughs> so our house has sounded, they've been really loud at our house lately. They've been brutal. Yeah, but you can hear them here too. Well, a lot of people have asked us, and this is the first day that I've actually seen the silhouette stand open. So that has opened back up. So this is the dress I was looking for the other day when we were at Disney Springs. Um, it's the Oogie Boogie Halloween dress. I, oh my gosh, Kay's gonna freak out when she sees this. She's gonna want it so bad. But it's a 128. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Oh my gosh, sorry for the glare. I don't know how to get rid of the glare. But um, it has Oogie's Boogie signature on the back. It's so cute. Oh, I haven't seen this before. So this is not a lounge fly. This is a Disney by Danielle Nicole. And I love how it looks like her armor and has her sword. This is cool. It is, it is $84. Oh, it looks like the child lounge fly has landed in Magic Kingdom, as well as this cute one. This is just the Star Wars, kind of like the Pop Funko style characters. And this one's only 75. Then they also have the classic movie poster lounge fly for Star Wars. And this one's also 75. Oh, Halloween has also made its way into the Main Street Confectionery. And they have all the Halloween treats. And a lot of the same Halloween merch that's available in kind of all the stores here. I kind of like that because they're not actively making anything now. They are using this area to kind of display all the stuff they offer to help you decide before you get in line. And everything is clearly priced, which is also very nice. Now, one thing you're going to notice is nothing is Halloween themed. That's because the Halloween sweet treats don't drop until September 15th. Mainly, have already locked in our park day for that day, so we'll be ready to bring it all to you. That's good. All right, that's going to end our morning here at Magic Kingdom, yes. uh, but we do have some adventures still awaiting us at home, so it's time for the drive home. Fun, fun. Jen, what? I already can't find the popcorn bucket. Oh, here's Mary Poppins, Peter Pan, Good morning. Alice, there's Pooh, and Tigger, and Prince Aladdin. And Prince Aladdin. This is a good spot to stop and search for that popcorn bucket, huh? Also, they're getting ready to go up to do the social distance meet and greet. It's so weird. Oh, look, there they go. They're going up to their meet and greet up at the top of the train station. But it's so bizarre. Like at Hollywood Studios, the one outside is open, the gift shop, but not here. Doesn't make sense. So we are now back in the car and headed home. The next epic adventure of the day, and I'm gonna have to go with alone, because we need milk and bread. Jeremy yelled at us when we left uh, this morning and said, do not forget to bring home milk and bread. I don't like when he yells at me like that. Now me, I prefer the neighborhood market Walmarts because the, the other ones are just like chaos all the time. Here, it's not quite as bad. And one thing I always get for germs is some bread, but I, Jen always says I get the wrong bread, so I'm gonna try to make sure I get the right bread this time. 
pretty sure they like the Parmesan bread and it's only a dollar which is great and I'm actually gonna get the free sliced one this time and as soon as we get home they, they're right into this making uh, bread butter we drink 2% milk what do you guys drink this in the comments below but we've always gone with 2% holy moly a gallon of milk's only $1.89 crazy now I must do the special knock for entrance Nothing's happening. She's yelling at me. Oh, ready. No, my tire's getting low on air. We've had bad tire luck lately. And there's the culprit. There is a screw in my tire. You have a flat tire? And it's losing air. Oh, son of a nutcracker. So at least I taught myself how to plug a tire when I fixed Jen's the other day. So I can just pull this bad boy off and do another repair. Look, Ryan joined the vlog. Hello. And so did Jeremy's new fish. It's tanks are still a little cloudy. And we have a crayfish in here. He must be hiding. But I got an even bigger surprise. Roxy came to visit. You got an itch? You got an itch? Say hi to the vlog, Roxy. Whoa! Extreme close up. Roxy. Roxy. No! Roxy left me. She has separation anxiety <laughs> from me. Haunted Mansion Kitty Yzma. She likes to Yzma. hang out right underneath this Haunted Mansion calendar. Ah, another extreme close up. What are you doing there, little girl? Drawing? Yeah. I see everything. That is a really realistic looking eyeball. You are very, very talented. Oh, stop. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our Magic Kingdom day and and a couple little bit errands on the way home. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We always have, have fun shopping. and yes. We found some pretty cool new stuff, so. Yes, but if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for watching, and, and now, now we're, we're on, on to the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Bye, guys. Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.